Hi everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren where we show what we got this week. I had a lovely, lovely week in terms of books this week. Um, so let's get started. The first book that I got was one that I won and it's After Obsession by uh, Carrie Jones and Stephen E. Waddell, I think. Um, I won an arc of this book. Um, it came out on the 13th of uh, September and uh, it's basically about demon possession and it sounded really 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 good and I've had it on my wish list for quite some time and then when I found out I won it I was really 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 happy so um yeah and I won it from Natalie Parker on Twitter I will leave a linky to her below and she included a card and some swag which is signed uh, this is blood magic swag a big big thank you to uh, Natalie for sending me this one. I'm really happy. Um, then I got a little package in from the lovely Elle who is really spoiling me. Um, I got in A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young. And this is uh, about a girl who is an angel but she's a forgotten. And she feels the urge to help complete strangers and I believe people forget about her after a while. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I've had it on my wish list as well. Um, it's a yellow on the back. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then I go also got Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma, um, which is, I believe, realistic fiction with a paranormal twist, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is about uh, two sisters. One sister gets caught with a dead body or something and then get sent away. I'm not entirely sure but it sounded really really good when I first read the synopsis. Um, it looks like this underneath the dust jacket. Gorgeous navy blue and red letters on it on the spine. So thank you Elle for sending me these. I'll let you know what I think of them. Um, then I got a couple of pre-orders in and some other books. The pre-order that I got in was Dear Bully by various authors. Um, this is basically an anthology um, with stories from 70 different different authors um, talking about bullying, either um, how they experienced it or how it gets better or what they can do. Um, it has a lot of authors in it. Um, Carrie Jones is in it, Ellen Hopkins, um, Lauren Oliver, um, Dawn Metcalf, Lauren Kate. Um, so many, many authors and I'm really looking forward to reading this because I think that bullying is something that um, is not really paid much attention to in um, books. Not enough in terms of how extreme it can be. And I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Then I got Hounded by Kevin Hearn. And this is the first in the Iron Druid Chronicles. And um, it has a male uh, main character. And I really like him. I, I do not like his little... Um, but it's, a, uh, it's about him. Uh, his name is Atticus and he lives... Um, in Arizona and he's been living or he's alive for 21 centuries and then some kind of Roman God wants his sword and um, he needs all the power he can get to um, fend this God off so it sounded really good. Uh, it's the first book in a series um, the other two look like this and it just re sounded really good and I do not have um, these kind of books with mail um, main characters, so that's really good. Then I got Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer. Um, this is a apocalyptic um, kind type of read. Um, it's about a meteorite that hits the moon and the moon comes closer to the earth so we get um, we get um, there are uh, earthquakes and, and floodings and stuff like that because the moon actually um, does have an influence on the waters on the planet so it sounded really interesting I heard great things about this book the writing is a bit 
weird, but I'll live. <laughs> and then I got Shade by Jerry Smith Ready, and I've heard so many great things about this series that I couldn't wait any longer and just picked up a copy. And of course, the first thing that I noticed when I got the book in was that the lady on the front, our main character, I think, um, is wearing purple nail polish. <laughs> and I feel really silly for that being the first thing I noticed. I really like the cover. I love purple. And then, um, chapters look like that. Um, it's about a girl whose boyfriend dies, but she can talk to dead spirits, I believe. Um... Not entirely sure what the rest of the plot is, but I've heard so many great things about the series that um, I'm sure it's good. And then last but not least, and I'm so excited for this one to finally come in. I've been stalking my mailbox for weeks now. Um, two weeks. I got in Sweet Venom by Tara Lynn Childs and oh my god, this is one of my most anticipated reads of 2011. Um, it's basically about three girls who are um, descendants from Medusa and they are triplets so Medusa's triplets I mean come on how awesome is that um, it's described as Percy Jackson in chiclet form and that's just amazing the cover is gorgeous and I wanted this book um, since the moment I heard about it so um, when it finally came in I did a little happy dancing it looks like this this is a spine really pretty um, so, so happy with this one. So, yeah, with Sweet Ven Venom, that's the end of my In My Mailbox of this week. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox this week, and I'll talk to you guys later.